welcome back. My name is Shannon and I'm glad that you're here. Thank you for joining me for yoga and making this time for yourself to check in with the current state of your body mind. Just take a deep breath in, let your eyes close. Allow your breath to flow out of your body. And just take five slow, deep breaths. Feeling the rise of the inhalation. Feeling the fall of your exhalation. Each in-breath a gentle expansion. Each out-breath a softening and a letting go. Take a few more. As you sit with your body and your breath, I invite you to think about a new beginning, something that you may be starting. Perhaps it's the start of a new year, a new relationship, a new home, a new job, a new friendship a new project that you're working on, whatever it may be, let this come into your mind. Take a deep breath in and now begin to feel what there is to feel in your body. Notice if there's any tension or stress, any anxiety or apprehension surrounding this new beginning which is normal, just notice if it's there or not. And now as you sit with the feelings and sensations in your body surrounding this new beginning, if you've brought any goals, into this new relationship that you've set, this new beginning, bring them to mind. Perhaps you'd like to go to the gym three times a week, or you've resolved to be more kind this year, or you'll show up to work every day on time at the new job. Whatever that is, bring that to mind. And once again, notice what you feel in the body, knowing that thoughts, and feelings are connected. So just notice what you feel and if there's any feeling tone associated with it. Like it feels positive, it feels good, you feel happy and joyful, or there's a negative feeling tone associated with it, like there's some apprehension or stress or anxiety or a tightening or a gripping around that. Or also notice if there's a neutrality, not a dread or a worry, and also not a joy. Take a deep breath. Allow yourself to settle like flakes inside of a shaken snow globe on your exhalation. And now I invite you that if you have set a goal or a resolution, to also be kind to yourself, to balance that intention or that measurable, achievable goal with a resolution to also be kind and compassionate. So maybe you've been going to the gym three times a week, but you're so sick that you can't go for a week or even two weeks. That happens. Or maybe you were late to work one day but you were on time every day for the last two months. That happens. Breathe in, breathe out. 
perhaps resolve to cut yourself some slack, particularly if you're a type A type, like I am. So knowing <clears throat> that what we're seeking is a balancing between effort and ease, between work and rest, And I'll also invite you to think about setting an intention of what you'd like to attract more of into your life. So you could write words on a page or type them up. I'd like to be more loving. I resolve to be more kind. I am kindness. I am peace. I am calm. Could be a picture or an image that evokes the feeling that you'd like, like in a, a deserted beach. Maybe a nature trail. Maybe an open field or forest. Maybe curled up in your bed on a rainy day with a good book or a warm cup of tea. Perhaps even make yourself a dream board with images cut from a magazine that just show words or images that you'd like to attract more of in your life. And you could set this by your bed or night table so you can see it every day or in your bathroom. Take one more slow, deep breath in this space. Noticing any tension or stress in your body and where it is. Take a deep breath in and on your exhale, slowly nod your chin towards your chest. If you get dizzy, let your eyes open gently and softly focus on a still point. Inhale through center and exhale, lift your chin if that's safe. If it's not, just pause and center. Inhale back into center and exhale as if you were looking back over the right shoulder, softly pressing through your left behind you. Inhale through center, reach up through the top of your head as if you were a marionette and exhale, look over the left shoulder, gently pressing back through the right. Inhale into center and if you can, slowly draw a circle with the tip of your nose, an imaginary circle in the air, breathe in at the top like 12 o'clock and out at the bottom like six o'clock. Take one more deep breath in and we're gonna reverse our little nose circle, dropping your elbows, dropping your knees, relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. Let's do one more, breathe in at the top, breathe out and feel your neck and shoulders and chest and upper back. Hmm. Come back into center and on your inhale, lift your shoulders gently up towards your earlobes and exhale, drop the elbows and shoulders down. Inhale, shoulders up, exhale down. Let's do two more, gently lift, breathe in. Spine tall, breathe out. One more time, inhale, gently lift, but try not to tense. Exhale down, we're gonna circle them forward and up. Back and down, two more, breathe in. And out. One more deep breath in and out. Go the other way. Inhale back and up. Exhale forward and down. Go slow and feel your upper back, top of the shoulders, collarbone and neck, chest and armpit. Oh. Bring your right hand out to the side. Inhale your left arm out and up and out. Exhale, let your right fingertips walk away into side stretch. Breathe into your left shoulder. <sighs> Soften the right. Take another breath or two here. And when you're ready, push through your right hand, reach through your left. Inhale up. And exhale over to the other side, supporting yourself as you wish. Breathe in, breathe out. Soften through your shoulders. If it's not safe to look up, look forward or down. 
or maybe play with moving your head and feel the shifts stretch, shift all through your rib cage. Inhale up and exhale, release. Take a deep breath in to prepare, reaching both hands behind you and exhaling, begin to lift through your chest, maybe lift through your hips. Maybe lift through your chin, just knowing where your body says yes in this moment. And when you're ready to come out, chin to the chest first if it's lifted. Hips down second if they're up. Come back up to your tall spine. Lengthen out your legs. Breathe in. Gently bounce your knees. Breathe out. Let your feet rock left and right. And then open them about mat width apart and take your Mercedes windshield wipers in and out. Breathe. Soften your shoulders away from your ears and start to spread your toes and circle your ankles. Inhale and exhale. Notice any gripping in the hips, shoulders, face. And wiggle your toes. Feel your feet. Beautiful. Bend your knees. Scoop forward. Take a deep breath in as you lift up through your head, out through your fingertips, and exhale, begin to roll down, vertebra by vertebra, onto your back. You can use your shins and thighs or elbows as needed. And when you get down, you can stay down, rest, recover, and breathe. Or you can inhale, reach overhead, and on your exhale, fingertips up to the sky, chin to the chest, reach, reach, reach through your fingers, pull in below your belly button. See if you can lift up with or without your thighs. Take a deep breath in when you get to the top. Exhale, fold and rest. If you're on your back, stay there. We're coming back down in just a moment. Inhale, start to roll up. Hips to head, arms shoulder high, shoulders down your back. Exhale, from below your navel, curling down. Try to feel each vertebra connect with the mat. Keep your knees soft, your jaw soft, your ankles soft. This time, inhale, straighten your knees, reach overhead, fingers to heels. Exhale, surrender. Let your elbows bend, fingertips come together, toes fall open. Feel your body breathe in. Feel your body breathe out. Take another breath or two here. Slowing down, checking in, feeling what there is to feel. And then inhale first, maybe flexing your feet, reaching through your fingers, maybe just staying here. Exhale, start to hug the right leg into your chest and squeeze. Take a deep breath in and twist across your body. Knee to the left, head to the right. Feel your body breathe in. Feel your body breathe out, surrendering the weight of your arms and legs gently into the floor. Take two to three more breaths here, and if you feel too much pull in the low back, maybe take a block or a pillow or a folded up blanket or rolled up towel and stack that under the top leg. When you're ready, inhale back into center, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, stretch and lengthen. Exhale, left leg in and squeeze. Take a deep breath in to prepare, not pulling on the knee, pulling on your shin or thigh. And then exhale, twist, knee to the right, head to the left. Feel your body breathing. Send your breath where it's most needed, into any tight, sore, or uncomfortable places. And when you breathe out, invite them to let go. When you're ready, inhale back into center, exhale, gently squeeze. Release your left foot to the mat, knee up, bring the right leg in. So we've got both feet down, heels in near the hips, knees up. Hands by your heels. Take a deep breath in to prepare, and on your exhale, start to tuck your tailbone under, not lifting into bridge just yet, only flattening your lower back, 
pulling in that space below your belly button and gently stretching your low back, pulling your tailbone away from your head. Inhale, slowly vertebra by vertebra by vertebra, start to find your tailbone again. So I'm just gonna move this arm out of the way so you can see my low back a little bit better. Exhale, start to tuck under, lengthen, stretch, and flatten your low back, soft jaw, knees, wrists, and face. And then inhale, gently let your lower back lift up as you stretch softly to the tailbone. We're gonna take two more. This should be like a little low back massage. Exhale, gently feel from your tailbone to the vertebra just above it. And then the next one, and then the next one. Go super slow, feeling the space in between, feeling any discomfort, lengthening, softening, engaging that space below your navel. Keep your thighs and knees relaxed. And then inhale slowly, let your belly button lift up as if you were a marionette, little puppet on a string. There's a little string gently pulling your belly button up making a little space under your low back. On your exhale, we're gonna release that space. It's gonna gently come down vertebra by vertebra by vertebra. Inhale back into center, and this time on your exhale, just relax. Feel the left hip and the right hip, the left side and the right side of your low back. If there's any discomfort or you need to take a moment, do. You could always pull them knees in and circle them around. If it's safe, Inhale first, and on your exhale, reaching fingers to heel, spreading all 10 fingers, spreading all 10 toes, tucking under and finding that position we were just in. And now if you can, start to push into your feet and lift your hips up, vertebra by vertebra by vertebra. As we do these movements, we wanna make sure knees are in alignment with ankles and also in alignment with hips. Breathe, relax your chin to your chest. If you find that you're uncomfortable, something hurts, don't do it. Or you could take your block when you're in bridge and tuck it underneath your bottom. Make sure it's not under your low back. We want it under the pelvis with the tailbone tucked under. So it's not by the tailbone and it's not in the low back. It's near the top of the pelvis. So not under like the meaty part of your bottom, but not in that soft part of your low back that's just like bones and skin. Take one more breath here, relaxing through your shoulders and neck. And then inhale first, maybe pushing into your heels, lifting up off the block if you've got it, and exhale, roll down. So your alternative with the block, if you find you're having knee issues, would be to gently grip the block in between your inner thighs and see how that feels for you and your body. We're gonna to start to take the feet together, I'm sorry, knees together, feet wide, and just heel toe shift your feet around into whatever position makes your knees feel best. Turn your palms up, reach your fingers away, maybe lift up an inch and then let your arms get super heavy. Take a deep breath in, perhaps let out a little sigh. <sighs> let your body get heavier and heavier and heavier. And then we're gonna start to open up the knees so we're at least hip width again. Take a deep breath in and on your exhale, slowly slide one heel out. It doesn't matter which until your knee becomes straight. Flex your foot, gently reaching your heel away from your head. On an inhale, see if you can gently push into the foot of the bent knee and lift up the straight leg like you could reach, reach, reach another inch away and then exhale, let your leg become super heavy, knee falls open. Take a deep breath in, we're gonna start to exhale and slide the other leg out. So this bent knee is becoming straighter and straighter. The heel is gently and slowly sliding away as you check in with your low back. Start to flex your foot, reaching head to heel, deep breath in. If you can, lift it up, reach another inch, centimeter, millimeter away. Exhale, let your heel drop gently, let your toes roll open. And if it's nice, spread your toes, circle your ankles, breathe. If you're not comfortable in this straight-legged Shavasana, adjust to make yourself comfortable. We're gonna circle the other way and start to turn our head to the right and the left. Just making sure your ankles are happy your neck is happy, your shoulders and low back feel good. If you need to adjust shoulders down or tuck tailbone under, do that. Mm. And now we're gonna start to gently reach from your shoulder blades to your fingertips, reach, 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 spread all 10 fingers, lift your hands up an inch, deep breath in. Exhale, gently let your arms become heavy. 
surrendering them into gravity. And start to breathe into that space below your belly button, not forcing air into the body, just allowing it to gently expand and then surrendering the carbon dioxide out, letting it go. We'll take two more like that. Gently filling that lower belly, low back, surrendering out one more. If you're feeling any low back discomfort, bend your knees, tuck under, straighten out, and then you can always reach from here. <sighs> After that last breath into that space below your navel. Let me see if we can take a breath into the lower belly and the rib cage. Again, not forcing any breath into the body. Just seeing if we can find a gentle expansion in the lower belly button and then a gentle lift and separation in the rib cage. And as you exhale, see if you can find the space between the rib cage gently close in, almost like an accordion coming back together and the belly button and belly dropping down towards the low back and the mat. Try a few more. And as you do this, feel your shoulders. Notice if there's a tension in the shoulders and neck and jaw. Feel your hips and notice if there's a gripping in your hips or pelvis or belly or back. Feel your chest and upper back. Now we're going to take that three-part breathing, lower belly, rib cage, and chest if you can. And as you take a few slow, gentle, deep breaths, not forcing anything, feel your hands and your feet. Feeling the palms of your hands and soles of your feet and the gentle rhythm of breath in and out of your body. See if you can add awareness of your face and head, particularly the top of your head, as you're also aware of the palms of your hands, soles of your feet, and the gentle breath. If it starts to become overwhelming, just stick with whatever feels good. Awareness of breath. Maybe just awareness of one hand or one finger. One more slow, deep, gentle breath. And on your exhale, let everything go. Release any control of your breathing. Release all muscular tension. And allow yourself to just be a human being, not a human doing.
Slowly and gently returning your attention to the present moment. Letting the carbon dioxide fall out of your body. Gently, softly deepening your breathing if that feels nice. Not if it doesn't. Begin to slowly move your fingers and toes, just the tiniest bit at first, and then perhaps a little bit more. Begin to turn your palms down and toes in, and then palms up and toes out. Head can go right and left, and you can stretch in any way that feels nice. Take a deep breath, and when you're ready, find your way onto your side. Rest, recover, and breathe. And as you're ready, eyes closed if you can. Find your way up to seated. If you're more comfortable lying down, feel free to stay that way. We're gonna close class with a little reading from Don't Sweat the Small Stuff and It's All Small Stuff by Richard Carlson. Simple ways to keep the little things from taking over your life. So this is number three. Let go of the idea that gentle, relaxed people can't be super achievers. One of the major reasons so many of us remain hurried, frightened, and competitive, and continue to live life as if it were one giant emergency, is our fear that if we were to become more peaceful and loving, we would suddenly stop achieving our goals. We would become lazy and apathetic. You can put this fear to rest by realizing that the opposite is actually true. Fearful, frantic thinking takes an enormous amount of energy and drains the creativity and motivation from our lives. When you are fearful or frantic, you literally immobilize yourself from your greatest potential, not to mention enjoyment. Any success that you do have is despite your fear, not because of it. I've had the good fortune to surround myself with some very relaxed, peaceful, and loving people. Some of these people are best-selling authors, loving parents, counselors, computer experts, and chief executive officers. All of them are fulfilled in what they do and are very proficient at their given skills. I've learned the important lesson. When you have what you want, inner peace. You are less distracted by your wants, needs, desires, and concerns. It is thus easier to concentrate, focus, achieve your goals, and give back to others. a deep breath. Let it all go. And now I invite you to bring to mind again that new beginning, that resolution, that new relationship or start that you may be working with now. Take another deep breath. Let it all go. Notice what you feel in your body. Notice if it's the same or different. For example, do you feel a tightness in the belly, a gripping in the jaw, a holding in the shoulders or hips? And if so, is it more or less intense? Or perhaps has it changed or shifted in some way? Have you changed or shifted in some way? I 
invite you to be kind. I invite you to be compassionate. And I invite you to be loving with yourself. Because if you're not kind, compassionate, and loving to yourself, how can you give that to others? And how can you expect that of others? Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Peace to you, peace to your loved ones, and peace to our beautiful earth. Inhaling your hands out and up with gratitude and grace, receiving all that there is. And as you come home, ask for clarity in your mind, speech, and heart. The light within me bows before the light within you. Namaste. Mm -hmm.